Trump is a, one of the best known salmon flies, especially here in Scotland, the UK and Ireland. It's got many fish around the world, so it's a, it's a good pattern to mess around with. And this is basically much, it's the same pattern, just slightly more orange than the traditional one or the original one. Now, who I'm using, this is a Salas, it's a double, and it's a size 11. Basically equivalent to a size 10, 10 hook. thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread and eight on fire orange. We simply start at the eye and come down a good half a dozen turns or so. And we tie in an oval tinsel and this is a small gold oval tinsel. And you catch it on the top and then just find down just slightly by the point of the hook or so and then I'm going to form a small tag. You're looking three to four turns, in this case I'm three turns in and then catch it underneath which will lock in the tag and bring the thread up fold it back and bring the thread back down this locks in your basically your tag and ties in your tinsel for your rib tail, I'm just going to use a buck tail in this case dyed a really hot orange or flame really, really dark I don't need a lot of fibres remove them from the, the tail now what I'm going to do here, because it's a smaller fly I'm going to stack put the buck tail into a hair stacker put it in tip first, just to line up the ends now you could use a lighter fur or a softer fur for the tail it's up to yourself just going to tap it so line up the ends, remove it from the stacker and then length, you're looking at least twice the length of the hook over the back, that's the kind of length that I like, you can go shorter or longer again it's entirely up to yourself, happy with that, just come in and trim slightly at an angle Cut it slightly at an angle, you'll get a slight taper towards the, the eye and it helps to slightly lower the wing. Now you could put flash in the tail if you want. You can, uh, just, I'm just going to leave it because basically you don't really need it. There's plenty of colour in this fly. But you can easily add a bit of crystal flash or something into the tail. Now for the first part of the body, um, body I'm going to actually use a hot orange unifloss. It's actually more a fluorescent orange than a hot orange. It's a good colour. If you're going to tie this in the normal alleys, I use the Chinese red, the Unifloss, which is a great colour. And I'm just going to tie in the floss, bring it halfway up, and then wind the floss up, forming the body. So look at your length, don't want to be short. Cross your thread again, nice and tight. Now I've Obviously I've pre-waxed my thread so I'm getting plenty of grip. Trim the excess away. And then I'm just going to use a black unifloss. Just catch it on the, the side again. Full length of the body. And then take the thread up. Tidying things as you go. And then bring up your black floss. Give yourself room. I mean, look, you're looking at least two millimeters from the the black floss, at least that, uh, to give you plenty of room for your hackle wing and so on. Make sure you tie it down. Trim away the waist, and then bring your gold rib up. Looking around about two turns in each section. Come up, cross your thread, and nice and tight. Wait. Again, make sure you wax your thread. It's going to tide up a bit here. 
sure I'm going to get everything to start where I want it. Just check to see how neat everything is. Now, this is where you can actually change it. You can either use a dyed hot orange, grey squirrel, or the natural. Both work in this fly. You can either use... Now, I'm going to just use the natural in this case, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But the, the dyed hot orange one, certainly worth dyeing and using. I'm just going to cut away some of the grey squirrel. You're looking the fibres to come in halfway into the tail and less. Don't go any further, don't go much further than that. Halfway is about right. Now this is a thing about your practice. I'm going to roll the hair round the shank. Just keeping the thread nice and tight. Encouraging the hair with your fingers and thumb. Come all the way around. Now there's a full turn. And I'm going to do another two. Do the fingers away. Now what happens is you've got a slight twist on the top. You've got to bring this round. Now I've got two turns here. Come in with a brush. Just bring the hair round. Now I'll try and show you what happens. Now if I, if you look there, I'm going to go back two turns. And then hold the end. And encourage that last twist just to come round. It's something you've got to really do with your fingers quite hard to show, but there you have a, an even layer of fibre or squirrel all the way around to form like a, a nice collar and then remove the excess. I get asked all the time why, how to do that and it's just practice, as simple as that. And I, I do that with a lot of materials. And it saves a lot of time of putting two layers, one on top, one on bottom and stuff. Now you go down and come back up with your thread and make sure you wax it. Because then what you've got is a nice layer of thread there waiting for your materials that's going to grip whatever you're going to tie on. And again, make sure you drop more wax on. Now you, again, this, this is going to be the wing, part of the wing, and it's the tippet, golden pheasant tippet. In this case it's been dyed a really, again, the same colour of flame, really bright. Now use the small feathers. Small fly, small feathers, simple as that. Now, you could use a natural if you want, just the, the plain, it's up to you. Just going to remove the fluff. Now there's the feather, that's the underside you're seeing. Just going to roll the fibres. What that does, it lifts the fibres from the side up on top. The length is just to where the end of the tag. Hold that in your finger and thumb. And then pinch and loop it on top. And two or three turns to make sure it's not going to move. Have a look. That's fine. And then remove the waste. And again, come in and wax your thread. Now, the front hackle I've used badger dyed hot orange, used badger itself, I've used hen dyed hot orange flame, and I've used Chinese cock hackle. It's entirely up to yourself. It depends on, I would say, if you're in, it's good having a, a few flies tied with different hackles because you'll come across fast water and you need slightly stiffer fibre so it sits nicer, or a softer fibre if you need more movement, especially in slacker water. And, or even both, it's up to yourself. Mess around with the hackles to get a... The fly will, on the day, if you've got a, two or three patterns tied in different ways, there's more chance of catching a fish. And I'm going to use the hen here, the hen hackle. And I'm simply going to tie it in by the tip. Now you, you could remove one side, which will give you a really nice even hackle. I'm going to do that, just going to move one side so you can see what I'm doing. And it's the side that's going to touch the, the thread, because I'm winding away from myself. Just reveal the tip. Come in, two or three turns down, fold it back. Two or three turns up, and then back down to the point where you're going to tie off. Just remove the tip of the hackle. Make sure I wax my thread. 
and then it's, it should lay down very easy, especially if it's prepared like this. You do one turn in front of the other. You see how the hackle's sitting, nice and curved towards the back. Just draw any any fibres that wants to go forward. Just pull them back with your finger and thumb until you've got enough hackle. Come up against the hackle, cross over the back with your thread, two or three turns down. You can fold this back. Just control what you're doing and come in with a few turns, forming a nice head. Keep the thread tight, I can break this off and then come in and put finish. And there we are. Remove your thread. Just to give you an idea of what it should look like, just brush this out. And then you'll get a really nice flowing look to your fly and shape. Very mobile in the water and uh, I'll hopefully catch you a few fish. Now to varnish the head I come in with a tiny bit of super glue onto the head all the way around. Mustn't let it touch the hackle or the fibres, you don't want that. Once that sets, it's really rock hard and that's you ready to go. And that's basically your orange alleys. Just a slight variant of the original, not much difference, but the cut is slightly different with the colour. And as I said, you can change it, uh, you can change different ways. I mean, here it's again, but it's slightly different. It's got a silver hook this time, and silver rib. Just shows you what you can do, just changing the colour of the hook. And that's the fun of tying your own flies, that you can do all this. And these are flies that you'll not be able to buy in the shop. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and that's your orange, orange alley. Thank you.